and the newly minted Treasury Secretary Jack Lew sees reason for optimism. Maybe he can bridge the gap. He did sit down with our chief Washington correspondent Peter Cook yesterday. Listen. I think the president uh, is uh, putting a great deal of effort into working in a bipartisan way to, to find people to work with, to open doors to a conversation about a sensible solution, which I think everyone kind of knows the contours of. We just can't quite figure out a way to get there. I think they've been good discussions, and um, I think uh, there's reason to be optimistic that they'll continue. Let's talk more about the budget heading over to Washington, where Bloomberg chief political correspondent Peter Cook is there. And Peter, did he give you any specifics about how he is going to get some sort of bipartisan compromise here? Well, what we heard from Jack Lew is a message of optimism. He said, ultimately, we can get there towards that grand bargain. But he did say quite clearly, once again, it's going to take more revenue on the part of Republicans. And he would not go so far as to say that the president is prepared to offer anything new with regard to entitlement programs. I asked him if, in addition to the charm offensive, we might get a little more courage from the president on that. That's what Speaker John Boehner's asked for. His uh, response to me was that the president's offered a lot of courage so far. But uh, you did get the sense that uh, he does think there's reason for optimism. These conversations have been productive, Sarah, but we're not at a deal yet, that's for sure. And Peter, I know you have interviewed the former Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner numerous times. What is the distinction here with Jack Lew under President Obama when it comes to handling these negotiations and some of the other key items like banking reform on the agenda? Well, I, I tried to get a sense whether or not he would be the president's lead negotiator on the budget here because of his budget experience. Nobody in the Obama administration knows these issues perhaps as well as Jack Loom. What was clear to me from our conversation is he wants to make sure that his portfolio is bigger than that. He said his first priority is not the budget. His first priority is the economy, is getting jobs created in this country. Talked about the regulatory uh, issues he faces as Treasury Secretary. And he talked about the international issues, Sarah. He's headed off uh, to China on Sunday, his first international trip again a chance for him to show that he is a treasury secretary through and through all the portfolio not just the budget issues